hi guys welcome to my channel once again in case you're a new subscriber thank you so much for joining if you are a returning subscriber you are so much welcome back to this channel and if you're watching and you're not yet subscribed this is the chance for you to subscribe so that we reach 30k subscribers as per the title of this video today i shall be sharing with you how to create a freelance portfolio without clients that win clients new in this freelancing industry if you want to know how you can create a portfolio that will win you clients or if you're just interested in learning how to create a portfolio now you are at the right place because that's exactly what i shall be addressing in this video talking about everything that you need to include in your portfolio and at the end of this video you will have known how to create a portfolio that wins if this is something that you're interested in make sure that you give this video a thumbs up it lets me know that you're interested in learning about this to begin with what is a portfolio a portfolio can be a website a pdf that you share with clients and which includes details about yourself your skills any reviews from previous clients the services you offer basically that's what a portfolio is a portfolio makes it easier for you to communicate everything about yourself and what you offer to clients and it prevents you from having that one-on-one -on -one long conversation on the call or through email text texting back and forth the client trying to get information about you with just one click or one link you have already sold yourself to a client pretty much anyone who's freelancing and working in this online industry needs to have a portfolio as i have mentioned a portfolio can be in a form of a website it can be a pdf so how do you create a portfolio in a website first there are very many sites that will help you launch or create your portfolio some of them i will just list them here these are some of the website you can create your portfolio on my portfolio i have created it in a website form so for example if i want to share my portfolio to a client i just send them the link it takes them to that website and they can see my portfolio and a bonus tip in my portfolio inside that website i also have another portfolio which explains further services that i provide apart from my main writing stuff i'll talk much about that later in this video so you need to stick around so you don't miss out on this important information i have for you if you choose to go with the pdf format the software that will help you create very nice portfolios for yourself and download it as pdf one good example of such a software is canva with canva you can create anything for your business be it business cards posters portfolios instagram posts or templates it has everything and it's just easy to use and if you want me to show you how to use canva to design different stuff let me know in the comment section and i'll be glad to make a video on that so now that you understand how or what a portfolio is you need to know what to include in your portfolio number one you need to know what the client needs and you customize your description to match what they need now let me give an example with myself i'm a writer and i have a portfolio i'll have this section talking about the experience i have in writing these are the niches i was writing on talk about the tasks you've done before your skills and how it will help them solve a problem it should be like a short preview of your entire freelance career or what you do make sure that you engage what they need in the services that you offer another thing as i mentioned your portfolio needs to have the services that you offer the slightest thing that you maybe learned in high school or university if you're done with university or not include it if you know microsoft excel include it if you know how to use wording if you know how to use canva to design stuff include it even if you've never had a client remember you are an amateur in this you've not had any clients so include any relevant service that you know you can provide to the client even though they have not included in their description or they don't need it just include it in your portfolio because maybe they might need it part number three it's including some of the softwares that you're proficient in for example if you edit videos include whether it's filmora wondershare or the final cut or the adobe premium if you edit photos include the photo editing softwares you're proficient 
theme you can include canva if you know how to design using canva you can include wordpress if you've ever blogged or uploaded a blog on wordpress there are very many software that you can include that you're proficient in even like just mentioning that you are a tech savvy so even if you know how to use these social media platforms instagram facebook linkedin include that you're proficient in using them just any software that you know how to use include it in your portfolio now another thing that's included in a portfolio is your services by the time you decide to build a portfolio you already know what you want to do as a freelancer it can be video editing social media management writing typing whichever you need to have the section where you will include all the services that you know you can offer any service that you know you can offer list all of them there so now you have your services listed you have the softwares that you're proficient in listed you've talked about yourself what you offer what's the next thing write your samples i know this part where you include your samples does not relate to any newbie or amateur person in this field so how do you go about this if you are new in this freelancing i'm here to solve that for you this is what you'll do first i'm sure you have friends you have family members you have relatives just uh tell them for example you can edit for them a video maybe they want to upload on their social media platform take that chance edit the videos and if you have like three four samples the more the better of course include it in the portfolio and this applies to any other thing not only just video it can be writing it can be entering data and even as you do that work make sure that they give you a review and also include the review in the portfolio i know i've not mentioned about reviews but yeah they go hand in hand after you do work you request for review always even as you work with clients so once you have done that now your portfolio is up is it the fourth part or the fifth part is testimonials it's important to include testimonials as i've said once you have done work for someone just request them in a good way to give you their testimonials this part is not that necessary but believe in me it will boost your portfolio the next part is including your rates and this actually depends some portfolios it's not a must that you include your rates and some choose to include the rates in the portfolio but if you just want a portfolio that will just highlight everything about you then have a page where you'll talk about your rates mostly in freelancing you're paid either per hour or sometimes as a contract or per word that's in like article writing you're normally paid per every word you write so make sure that you include your rate card your packages people have different ways of displaying their rating some put them in packages some it's just fixed amount and others put in an hourly charge maybe they charge $30 or $20 or $70 an hour so another thing in your portfolio you want to mention how you work like the steps the client should expect from when they request for your services to when you guys start working so highlight those steps in your portfolio it can be oh first i get your work i go through this and that i send you my contract you sign it then work begins you know such kind of a draft it's important to include it in your portfolio just to give the client a clear picture of what they should expect working with you the final page of your portfolio should have your contact details so this can be your email or you can include a link that will allow the client to schedule a call and have a conversation with you these were softwares like calendly this is how it's written calendly it helps you include links where people can schedule a call and call you and that's it those are the two main important things that you should include in the contact section i don't think there's any other thing you should not include your phone numbers of course just a bonus point it's good to include your photo in one of the pages it can be on the contact uh, page or it can be on the first page but between those two yeah so the client knows who they're dealing with because you know you're working remotely you will never see this person you just believe they exist and they send you money and you work for them anyway guys i hope that this video has enlightened you in one way or another and if it has please give this video a thumbs up make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that we reach 30k subscribers and if you have any questions any further questions comment down below i normally go through every comment i want to know which questions that you have and i'll be willing to answer them in another video until next time guys bye